All right, so love and light, you guys. This is a, sort of an impromptu, um, expanded, I guess, idea on Mars and Scorpio. That video got a lot of views. Ooh, it's 111 right now, uh, and I just saw 11 right before I said that, so that's crazy. Um, so, anyways, so I, I thought I would go in a little bit farther on my experience with Mars and Scorpio. You know, they say, talk about what you know, and I don't... My Mars is in Scorpio, so I can only speak, you know, for myself and then also for what I've seen in others. But I wanted to expand a bit on Mars and Scorpio, you guys. And this is probably going to be people watching this to find out a little bit more about Mars and Scorpio. And uh, here's here's where we're going to go with that. Um, the other the things about Mars and Scorpio that I didn't say, uh, which I think are, are worth noting is Mars and Scorpio, I, I know I talked about Mars and Scorpio's endurance, and they're sort of, in some ways, like, slow and steady wins the race, in a way, because they have so, so much endurance, and, um, persistence, and, uh, gosh, I mean, are they willing to, Mars and Scorpio is, is willing to just, really, really, really stick in there with something. They can be stubborn, but they're, they're just incredibly, I hope this still, um, videotapes, but, uh, let's see here for a second. I have pulled up some stuff that I was reading. I don't know if this is still videotaping. If it's not, um, we'll see. Yeah. Um, oh, that's what I was going to say. I'm looking at my notes here. Yeah, it, Mars and Scorpio is, is, um, you know, it's sort of like behind the scenes. It's, I always like think of Mars and Scorpio as like the stealth, you know, I don't know what, what they're called, but like, a, I just think of like a stealthy aircraft, you know, flying kind of in the dead of night, like through a ravine, you know, and like it's undetectable and and if you were to look in, into it in terms of that it's 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 like it'll low fly you know just like undetected in it, it covered shrouded a bit in darkness and so it has this ability to just quietly kind of work behind the scenes and it, it prefers that and so it's oftentimes why mars and scorpio people will just sort of like pop out out of nowhere into a situation and you're like what? you know, like, who knew? Because they don't tell anybody. And they're, they're very stealthy like that. And then I also think of them as flying low like that sometimes, like, just like a stealth fight, like some sort, if you know what this aircraft is called, just, I don't know. But I think you know what I'm talking about. And they're also like d divers, right? And so they're, they're willing to go to places that, um, many, many signs or many just people, generally energetically a lot of people are wouldn't touch that you know with a 10-foot pole uh and that's not a bad or good thing necessarily but they're they're definitely willing to um go to places that other other people definitely would not and so it's one of the things that makes Scorp mars and scorpio such a kind of a cool and sort of badass sign is because it's it's uh it's it's not only strategic and you know, doesn't show all of its cards and it's, 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 it's your dark horse in a way because it's, it's, it's hard to predict what, what the outcome is going to be with somebody with that placement because b best believe they've got, you know, not a plan A, B or C, you know, they've got plan A through Z and they w haven't told anybody any of those plans. You know, there may be a few people sprinkled here and there, but generally they keep that stuff close to the chest. And so that's what makes Mars and Scorpio in some ways so formidable is because they've got that endurance and they've got that foresight. They're incredibly emotional and deep and somewhat psychic, very intuitive. And they are driven from their, their heart and passion and, you know, that type of drive you know, from their heart and, um, they're incredibly, they've got a lot of creative and sexual energy. I know I've talked about that, but I think one of the things that Mars and Scorpio, I guess, if I was speaking to somebody who had their Mars and Scorpio, 
I would essentially say, A, don't, um, don't, uh, underestimate yourself because you, you got, you've got it, A, to get wherever you want to go, you have it. Um, don't get in your own way because, you know, not a lot of people are going to understand that, that type of, um, energy or intensity or why you want to keep things to yourself and, and people wanting to know, you know, especially in an age where we all are, are, are feel like we're so entitled to, uh, other people's lives, you know, this is not a placement that likes that, you know, this is not a placement that likes everybody knowing what they're up to. And so, you know, you can feel like, oh, you're doing something wrong because you're not just, you know, it, letting the whole world know, you know, what your next move is or how you feel or what's going on with you. No, there's something wrong with you. That's, that's, inc that's important. We need, we need Mars and Scorpio to do that because they're most effective there. Now, how we apply that is up to us. And that means Mars and Scorpio needs to be very, um, you know, very conscious of their thoughts and, and what emotions are driving them. Right. And so, if Mars and Scorpio is feeling especially angry and uh, or or you know just some some lower vibrations that aren't necessarily helpful, for Mars and Scorpio to recognize that is incredibly important so that they can adjust course and make sure that you know they're closing in on what they actually want and not what their fears are are manifesting. That's another. I just saw six four four. I will shout out numbers sometimes, and that's really just because I see them, and they might be important for you as well, so maybe look that up. Um, <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so getting back to what I was saying, um, make sure that you're closing in. Remember that your thoughts and your feelings and, and, and how you're feeling is really pulling in, you know, what you're about to experience and, and what you want to experience. So I just thought 7-Eleven. Um, and so Mars and Scorpio, because it's so fixed and focused and direct, make sure that if you catch yourself really focusing on negative things, that you understand that you're, you're very powerful. So you will draw into you what it is that you're focusing on. Um, and then I think I'm just going to leave that there because that's almost eight minutes. And so love and light you guys and this will be just Mars and Scorpio too just more thoughts all right bye